My name is Brandon Bryan. I grew up in Saluda, South Carolina. I was 20 years old when I joined the Army. I spent nine years on active duty in the U.S. Army, and I deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan for a total of 24 months. My first deployment was a part of Task Force Thor. We deployed to Baghdad City, Iraq. Once in Baghdad City, Iraq, we were pulling missions for approximately three months when we got ordered to come to the basketball courts by our lieutenant colonel. He then told us that we needed to pack our stuff, that we were going to Kandahar City, Afghanistan to be the first route clearance to ever run missions and write the SOP in Kandahar. My second deployment, I deployed back exactly 12 months later to Kandahar, Afghanistan to run route clearance missions again. Uh, went to Fab Ramrod, which was also in the Kandahar region, before moving down to Spinboldak, Afghanistan, which was about five clicks from the Pakistan border. You train up to deployment with the guys, you know, for sometimes a year, two, three, four years before you ever get those deployment orders. So when you get over there, you finally get to see what you're really all about. And then you get overseas, and when you get into some, you know, intense firefights or, you know, IEDs start going off on the left and right, you really see what those guys to your left and right mean to you. I'm not gonna lie, the transition out of the military was probably one of the hardest transitions I ever made in my life. The first two years was absolutely miserable. I got into a very deep place myself. I was, you know, honestly, I was pretty much dead on the inside if it wasn't for my daughter that I had, you know, that I still have. I don't know where I'd be without the outdoors and her. I got back home out of the military, found some good work, and then, you know, started having time to get back to what I was raised on, which was go out in the outdoors with my dad. Yeah, I had a lot of friends growing up and stuff, but my dad was my best friend, and he's the one that introduced me at a very young age. So getting back into the outdoors, getting back to my roots was, I think, probably the best life-changing event during the transition. So I was sitting at home one day and my buddy, Kenny Gentry, he called me and said, hey, have you ever heard of the Fallen Outdoors? And I'd never heard of the Fallen Outdoors at the time. He's like, yeah, we provide veterans and service members with free hunting and fishing trips. And I was like, well, I said, you know, uh, the heck with just getting on an event. How do I help? And pretty much went from there and I became the assistant state lead for a while. My role as a state lead is I reach out to other service members and um, people in the community to basically find out if they have land, um, donations, basically anything that they may want to help out with. They want to do a barbecue for us one day, you know, anything like that. And I kind of get the ball rolling. And from there, we have about roughly 12 pro, pro staffers on board right now that um, they are the ones that assist and help out when I do coordinate these trips or they coordinate these trips that want to take veterans out on free hunting, fishing, outdoors trips, trips to the range day, anything like that. They're the ones that are really actually putting the boot to the ground and getting it going. The Fallen Outdoors started back in 2009. Originally on our Facebook page for the Fallen Outdoors, we had 30 likes in 2009 or 30 people that had joined the Fallen Outdoors community. Now, fast forward to 2020, we have over 180,000 veterans and active duty service members on board. The community was originally made to establish a community for veterans, ran by only veterans, to be able to connect and be there for each other, whether it was Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, Coast Guard. It doesn't matter to branch, don't matter if you did one year, don't matter if you did 20 years. As long as you served honorably, we're there for you. So to get involved with the Fallen Outdoors, go to Facebook, look up, look us up at the Fallen Outdoors East Coast page. Once you get there, you'll go and click on answer three questions about your time in the service, and you'll start to see, you know, the trips populate. And as they populate, you can comment on them to get your name in the bucket to see who gets picked for that trip. We also have a Midwest page, you know, Pacific out on the West Coast. You know, everywhere, we, right now we are operating in 39 states of the 50 that we have.
The Fallen Outdoors is a 501c nonprofit organization. We have no paid employees throughout our entire organization since day one, and we will remain that way forever. I'm trying to think of just. I think we got plenty of stuff to work with. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. We can cut sound and 